everybody. So I'm going to be showing you a video on ways that you can help to tone your chin and tone your neck. So right now, for us, we're hitting up spring, summertime. So we're noticing there's a lot of pollen and a lot of debris, dust and everything kind of starts to kick up in the air, even cutting your grass. Uh, and a lot of people get congestion and they don't realize that this area underneath the chin can actually hold congestion, which might make it so you don't really get to see your jawline as much. So I'm gonna show you a way that you can actually push back the congestion just by using your hands and some skin rolling technique. So what you're gonna do is we're focusing underneath the chin and we're going to be pushing the skin and pushing the congestion back towards our throat. So we're gonna be pushing back and into our throat. You might feel at the back of your throat there's a little bit of a ball up there and a little bit of saliva, that's 100% normal. So I like to do five times on my right side so that's two, pushing back all the congestion at the back of the throat, that's three, four, and five, and then I'm going to be doing the left side. I can really feel it balling up in the back of my throat, so just swallow that down. That's one. Follow it along the jawline. Two. Three. Four. And five. So I really notice the difference in that for myself personally. So just by doing that, even first thing in the morning works really well. Another thing to kind of add on to the sequence is going to be protraction, which is bringing back, and then retraction, which is coming forward. So for that, I'm going to turn on to my side just to kind of show you what I mean. So what you're going to do is you're going to be sitting your arms nice and relaxed, shoulders back, and we're going to be jutting back. So I'm contracting all the muscles in the posterior side of the neck so I can see my chin is kind of getting pushed back, and I'm going to hold that for a count of two. Then come forwards, one, two, and I like to do that for a set of ten. So that's number two, two, that's three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, hold it, and ten. Excellent job. So for the third one that I'm going to show you is going to be, you're going to Look up and you're going to jut your chin out. So I just want you to practice jutting your chin out. So all it is, is bringing your chin from a normal position and bringing it so your teeth are gonna come out. So focus on that movement, but we're gonna be bringing the neck into an extension. So we're gonna be looking up and you're going to jut the chin out. So already just by doing that, you can feel the muscles in the anterior or the front of the neck starting to contract. So I want you to do this for a set of five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then what I want you to do is you're going to then look to your left and exact same thing for a set of five. So then you're gonna feel it on the right side of the neck. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to be looking over to the right side, same thing, jutting the chin out for a count of five. One, so again we're going to be feeling the pull onto the left. Two, three, four, 
five. Now, if you're noticing that these kind of seem pretty easy for you, by all means, do 10 reps. Uh, the more and more that you do these, the more you're going to notice a definition in the chin and in the jawline, as well as a decrease in the congestion. If that is something that you're noticing throughout this time of year, especially with pollen out there. So you're going to notice a decrease. So all of that is going to help to tighten the bottom of the jaw and the bottom of the chin. Let me know how you guys felt with this. Let me know if it worked for you.